from Burnley, what a way, that was 1-1 at Old Trafford, come on, what a result, that could have been three, if, if Foster, that header that Foster had, which was saved brilliantly in the Manchester United goal, if that had gone in, I think Burnley would have won that 2-0, but um, a mistake led to the goal uh, by um, Larson mistake, passed the ball and um, the goal was run on to uh, by the goal scorer, hang on a second, <laughs> um, Anthony, sorry, Anthony scored and he even actually slipped when he actually shot um, but unfortunately Murek this time wasn't, wasn't able to stop and he'd been absolutely marvellous in uh, the Burnley goal up to then. He made some brilliant saves and the team, Burnley, looked as if they, they wanted this and luckily all the other teams are, are actually in our position down the bottom lost and unfortunately Sheffield United now are relegated. Um, okay, so let's start from the very beginning. This is the 27th of April 2024. Manchester United won, Burnley won. Uh, but Manchester United went with a 4 2 3 1, and Burnley went with their normal 4 4 2. Your referee, it was John Brooks. And the previous game. At Old Trafford, uh, sorry, at Burnley, uh, previous result on the 23rd of September 2023 was Burnley nil, Manchester United 1. But um, yeah, I'm really buzzing. I think, I think we're, on, we're on for uh, another couple of points before the actual last game of the season. So anyway, the, Mur the team was Murick, Asignon, O'Shea, Esteve, Vintinio, Foster, Berg, Cullen, Brun Larson, Audibert, Fafana, and your substitutes were Trafford, Taylor, Goodmanson, Brownhill, Rodriguez, Benson, Ekdal, and Dooney, who came on to take the penalty. Actually, he was the one that was brought down by the goalkeeper. Um, and then Tressor was the last substitute. Uh, Burnley's first half, Burnley played well and I had most of the ball in the first half and I can tell you that the actual stats prove that. So, but the 42nd minute, Audibert got a yellow card and the half time, as we all know, was nil-nil. Uh, so your Burnley stats for the first half, 51% um, possession, 9 shots, 5 on target, 4 corners and 7 fouls. While Manchester United had 49% of the possession, 12 shots, 2 on target, 2 corners and 4 fouls. Second half, 57th minute, substitute Amdouni replaced Fafana. I'm not sure whether Fafana was injured uh, or not, but uh, a good, a good um, substitute by Vincent Company. At last, at last, he's made a very, very good substitute. Um, okay, um, 60, 60th minute, yellow card for Cullen. And then the 72nd minute, uh, Goodmanson replaced Brun Larsen. Uh, then the 79th minute, goal for Manchester United, as I told you before, a mistake by Brun Larsen. Um, Anthony uh, scored for Manchester United. In the 85th minute, Burnley had a penalty awarded for a foul from the goalkeeper and on Amdouni. And we've seen this before, haven't we? The same, the same actual uh, collision with the goalkeeper and that was overturned. Uh, we had that with Trafford, wasn't it? And he was, sorry, Trafford was the one that gave away the penalty, exactly the same. Anyway, 87th minute, as I said, uh, penalty. Uh, awarded and then Dooney converted and uh, that was it um, the um, the stats for the actual uh, full-time score uh, was 50 
percent each. Um, so we 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 did very well in the second half, keeping pace with Manchester United, and we could possibly have won that. Okay, as you know, um, Newcastle plays Sheffield United, and uh, Newcastle five, Sheffield United one. Now that means that Sheffield United are actually relegated. Uh, Wolves 2, Luton 1. And uh, tomorrow, Sunday, Nottingham Forest play Manchester City. So I'm hoping, well, I think it's a, almost a certainty that City will beat Nottingham Forest tomorrow, hope, Sunday, I hope. Um, which means to say that they will stay one point um, above us. Oh no, um, we're one point above uh, below Luton so our next game Saturday the 4th of May we are home to Newcastle um, Saturday the 11th of May we are away to Spurs and the final game of the season Sunday 19th of May we're home to Nottingham Forest which is a four o'clock kickoff uh, every single team in the Premier League will kick off at the same time so we come to the league positions and Burnley are getting closer and closer to getting out of the bottom three. Luton uh, played 34, won 6, drawn 6, lost 22, points 25. And Burnley played 34, won 5, drawn 9, lost 21, points 24. And Sheffield United played 34, won 3, drawn 7, lost 25 points, 16 and relegated. So, who's going to make it out of the bottom three? Will it be Burnley? Will it be Luton? Or are we going to have another change in the bottom three? Will it be Nottingham Forest that will come down to the bottom three if... Burnley have another good result against Newcastle at home um, and possibly also we get a good result from Spurs away and a win against Nottingham Forest at home uh, on the last game of the season which will make a total of five points if we if we are lucky as we are today or good not lucky but uh, play as well um, as we did against Manchester United and that will bring us 29 points if that is going to happen it's just what happens to Luton and what happens to Nottingham Forest for as I said before Nottingham Forest are playing um, tomorrow Manchester City so I don't reckon they're going to get anything out of that one so hopefully now we're going to look forward to the uh, Newcastle game this next Saturday home to Newcastle and all Newcastle put five against Sheffield United but Burnley done very similar put four against Newcastle uh, she Sheffield United so let's hope for a good game and make no mistakes uh, coming out of our half and making a mistake by passing it, giving it to the, no, the wrong player and then um, they punish us. Let's hope that is the case. Well, here I'm very, very happy. I think a lot of Burnley fans must be buzzing. I think that's eight games now without defeat for Burnley. So let's hope that this continues to the end of the season. Okay, all the very best and up there Clarice. Come on boys, we're going to do this. Keep the faith.